Hello, my name is Robert and in this tutorial you will learn how to open and close a door using blueprints in Unreal Engine 4. So if we get close to the door you'll see that it opens and if you go far, if you get away from it, it will close. First of all, we want to create a new project and we want the first person template. Well, you can actually use whatever you want, but for this tutorial I'll be using this. And you also want to make sure you want to start with starter content unless you already have your own door and you can name it however you want. So now that our project opened up, we want to create an actor and you can name it however you want. I want to name it door. There we go. And you want to open it and you want to add component static mesh and you want uh, to add type and door and we want the door frame there we go and now we want another static mesh and we want the door the SM door and we want to place it over there you can uh, align it up perfectly with the snap sizes. I think 5 should be fine. Yep. And now we are going to compile. And actually, I forgot to add the trigger box. Just put box and. No, it's box collision. Okay. And you want to parent it to the default scene root. And let's put it in the front um, so you can all well, actually well yeah let's make it so you can open it from both sides why not so scale it up and now you do want to compile and if we go into the event graph you want to delete all these events and if you select the box and left click, I'm sorry, right click, uh, you want to add event for box, collision, and you want one on begin overlap, and we also want another one for the end overlap, okay? So now we want to do a cast to the first person character it can be if, well if you're using a different template like the third person character you can use that as well and we want to connect the object with other actor and we want this so that we know it's the first person character who is overlapping with the uh, box okay and we want to do the same uh, down here because if we don't do this like for example let's say an enemy passes by just for an ex by example for an example and the door opens we obviously well in most cases we probably won't want that okay so uh, we now want to add a timeline And we're going to call it open door you can name it however you want and you want to open it and when you want to press on the this um, big F button over here and you want to uh, press uh, press with the left mouse button and also shift at the same time and you want to do it two times okay so for the first we want to put the time at zero exactly and the value will also stay at zero and on the second button um, for the time you want to put how much time you want the door um, how much time it has to take for the door to open so I'm just going to 
put three seconds as a rough, rough guess. And for the value, I want to add 90 because it's 90 degrees that the door has to rotate. Okay. So if you press on this zoom to fit vertical, something like this should appear. So let's compile and go back into the event graph. And now we want to add another timeline, but this time to close the door. And we want to pretty much do the same. Oh, and by the way, I, for, I did forgot to mention, you want to select uh, the both buttons by pressing control at the same time, at the same time you click. And you want to right click and you want to put um, auto so it's nice and smooth. So now in the closed door I'm going to press the F button again and I'm going to Create two more buttons by pressing shift and right click, I mean sorry left click. And for the first um, button we want a time of 0 and a value of 90 because it's going from 90 to 0. And for the second value we want the time to be at 3 and the value at 0. Okay. And if you press the zoom to fit vertical, something like this uh, should appear, which is the pretty much the exact opposite. So now we want to select uh, these both um, button thingies, and we want to uh, right click, and we want to select auto. Okay, so let's compile. It's actually already compiled for us, and we want to go into the event graph, and in the update pen. We want, no, actually, we want to get the static mesh one, which is the door. And we want to set a relative rotation. And we want the relative rotation so that it doesn't matter in what rotation it is, it's going to add uh, those 90 degrees. Because if not, it's going to go pretty much crazy if it's on an angle, okay? So. We're going to split split struct pin and we want the new track zero on the new rotation uh, Z. And we want to do these exact uh, the same in the next timeline. Just like that, okay? So I did for you want to do play from start and do once actually I forgot to say that so do once and you want to play from start and you want this so it doesn't go crazy and it starts opening uh, many times so you want to Connect this to the reset. And now let's compile and let's go to the uh, uh, game and we're going to put the door somewhere over there and we're going to press play. So now if we get close, the door will open and if we leave, the door will close. So that's all for today so if you like this video and it was useful make sure to comment and subscribe and see you in the next one bye